Hello friends, Aston here. So in today's project is going to be a introduction for a tiny tool here called multiple select. So I think we are using uh, the single selecting Google Sheets a lot for the data validation, uh, something like this. So we have a validation here for some kind of values here, like for example, here for programming languages, we have a list of uh, programming languages and we can select from this list, right? And uh, what if we were trying to uh, input multiple values from this list, like this one, basic C sharp C++, what we can do here. So right now there is no, there is no native solution here in Google Sheets to do that, I think. Uh, if we are trying to do it with a formula or something like that, it's going to be very mm, not easy, I think, because we have a lot of combinations. It depends on the values in the list, right? So this is a little tool, so help us to do that. And if I select this cell, and here we have a menu called multiple select. If I open this tool, it's going to open this sidebar here for you. And here, as you can see, we have uh, input here. So you can, so right now we have basic C sharp, C++ here selected in this cell A2, and this is the tab name, guess, 97. So we can select more, like, like if I want to add C JavaScript to the value of this cell, and then we can set to A2, so it's going to update the value here. And then what if I want to set it to A3, so I only need to select this cell, and I can Set selected cell, so I'm going to update for A3. And if I want to add multiple cells, I can do I can select this range, right? I also can select this range, so I can set selected cells to all of them. I think so. Right now, as you can see, all of them are set like this, and uh, you can do the change very easily. So I only can need to change the value here. So let's say I'd like to add JavaScript and PHP for all of these cells selected. So I set the value for them. It's going to do the mass update for these cells, right? So this is basically about the tool. And uh, what if I want to just remove the validation so I can select all of them? I can just clear the selected cells. It's going to clear the values and the data validations for the selected cells. So that's basically something we're trying to do here. And uh, what if I want to add a new validation for another column or another cell, like here? Um, I'd like to add something else here. So I have this cell selected, and I get from, so this should be get from the active cell. So right now it's get from B, a B2. So right now there is no value in B2, so that's why it's empty. So I can add something here, like if I say Google, Docs, and I can enter, and I can say Google uh, Sheets. I can put comma here, I think, and Google Slides, enter. So you can, and Google Maps, and uh, Gmail. So you can you can put a comma here to separate the items, so if you want, and then you can enter them one by one, of course. And what else I can do here? Maybe a new Google app script. So as you can see, uh, we now have a list of items here. So this is going to initialize the uh, drop-down items for this cell. So if I set to B2, so you will see we have items like this. So what if I want only select app script and uh, Google Sheets? And it's set to B2. Okay, so now I think with this value, it's going to be something like uh, app script and uh, Google Sheets selected, right? And uh, if I want to set the validation for all of these cells, what I can do here, I can just uh, maybe Google Sheets, Google Docs, and uh, apply to select cells. And this is how you add a validation. Maybe you say Google Workspace. So it's to add a new validation for a new column or a new uh, 
a series of values so you can just uh, copy this validation and uh, put it here and if you want to uh, get the value for this one so you only need to do you need to get it from the active cell this guy you should, you should rename this a little bit so right now it's get from a5 so we have that uh, validation for a different uh, basically a different items of list like this right uh, so basically this tool is is um, designed to help you to do multiple selection in Google Sheets so it's not perfect but it can help you to manage the data a little bit better uh, just in case you want to do some data validation like this you have a list of items and you want to have multiple input in Google Sheets like this alright so I think that's almost it for this project and uh, you can simply make a copy of the project to make it work from your site so to do that uh, just uh, I think I'm, you can go to this file and uh, I'm going to put this link in the description of this video so you can make a copy of the project after you have a copy on your Google Drive and uh, and then you should be able to use it uh, so right now this is a copy right and uh, I'm going to wait a while for this menu here if it's not there try to read okay it's, it's here try to I want to say try to refresh the page I'm going to reload and uh, all you need to do, you need to open this sidebar and it's going to ask you for the authorization and you just need to complete the authorization process and uh, it should be good to go. Okay. Click on advanced and go to multiple select app and allow. And this is going to complete the authorization process if everything goes fine and uh, if you open this again, it's going to open this uh, sidebar application for you. All right, so now we are in cell A1. So if I select L, cell B2 and uh, get from B2, so this should be renamed a little bit. So we have this list as you can see here. So just uh, simple like this. And then you can use it in any tabs, okay? So if I want to apply these values to this selected cell here, I can just uh, set, uh, select the cell. So now in this cell, in this new tab, we have the values here. So I think that's it for this video. Thank you. Bye bye.